Coming to you from the African country of Morocco and the largest desert in the world, it's the Holy Dorable Show. Happy 
to be here. I sincerely appreciate you giving me this huge responsibility, Polly. I promise I won't ever let you down. You can count on me. And we're happy to have you, Leo. You came highly recommended. Um, before we go any further, I'd like to talk about a few things. I always want to be upfront and honest, as I'm so grateful for this wonderful opportunity. Oh yeah? What's up? First, I don't go by Leo anymore. My real name is Leonard. I hope that's not a problem. Oh, not as fearsome sounding. But if it's okay with you, it's okay with me. Oh, thank you, Polly. That's very adorable of you. Adorable? Ha! You're a quick learner! Also, I'm not exactly king of the jungle either. Wait, what? You see, I was kicked out of my pride a long time ago. What's a pride? Well, Polly, here in Africa, another word lions use for family is pride. Typically, lion prides are family units that can include up to three males, a dozen or so females, and their young children. Unfortunately, my family abandoned me, and I'm looking for a new family who can accept me for who I am. Oh, I'm so sorry. What happened? You see, lions tend to fight a lot to show their dominance. For whatever reason, I never enjoyed fighting, as I always felt there was a better way to solve our problems. I prefer a friendly approach. First, I listen. Second, I sympathize, then compromise. And third, we agree to a mutual understanding. That way, everybody is happy and no one gets hurt. Well, you sound like a very adorable lion to me. Can you tell us what mutual understanding means, though? Sure. It just means nobody gets everything they want, but everyone gets just enough to make each other happy. So instead of only thinking of yourself, you think of others, too. So everyone is happy. <laughs> now, I'm not even from Morocco. I'm from a very non durable place in Africa called the Congo. When I was disowned, I kept walking and walking through the desert without anything to eat or drink. Along the way, I came upon a genie in a lamp. Now stop right there! I ran across that creepy guy too! I told him to leave me alone and get back in his lamp! <laughs> yes, he made lots of false promises, which was not durable at all. We all know how feels. So yada yada yada, here I am in Morocco. And once I finally arrived, people seemed to be a lot more accepting of me. I was happy to be given a chance to work security for a local venue. It was a great opportunity I couldn't pass up. Well, your former employer spoke very highly of you. He said you had a unique ability to keep everyone in line. I just figured you scared the pants off everyone. <laughs> surprise, your secret weapon is your adorableness. <laughs> now, Leonard, please understand, you're not just part of the Polly Adorable Show, you're part of our family now, and thank you for being a part of it. <laughs> now, remember kids, sometimes someone else's trash can be someone else's treasure, and we are so grateful to have found such a valuable treasure in Leonard. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, because you're not going to want to miss this. Since we're in Morocco, I've been wanting to try out one of these magic carpet rides I've been hearing so much about. Let's roll the clip, please. Here we are in our very own magic carpet. How exciting is this, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, let's cut to the chase and fire this sucker up already. Oh, wow! It's a little louder than I thought! There's no muffler on the thing in there! Okay!
First we learn, a Medina is an old part of town where you can find all sorts of beautiful handicrafts. These beautiful and sometimes adorable items are created by master craftsmen who learn their skills from past generations going back thousands of years. We also know to always learn from your past mistakes. When I came across the genie in that lamp, it reminded me of my last three wish experience I had in Ireland. And I wasn't looking to go through something like that again. No, thank you. <laughs> we also learned a lion pride is the same as a lion family. Typical lion prides can have quite the aggressive atmosphere though, as lions tend to fight a lot to show their dominance. But our letter shows us there's a more normal way to resolve problems. Rather than fighting, he chooses to understand each view and come to a mutual understanding where everybody is happy. Oh yeah, and don't forget, Carpets are not horrible at all! <laughs>